Hi, I'm Alicia Heron, a content producer for AOPA, and I'm here today at Cirrus Aviation at NBAA Base, and we're taking a look at their augmented reality and virtual reality pre-flight systems that they have on their iPad. I'm here with Alex Mangone, who's the... Uh, learning experience designer for Cirrus Approach. Learning experience designer, awesome. AOPA keeps flying safe, accessible, and fun by protecting your freedom to fly. We are the most trusted one-stop resource for all things related to general aviation. Become an AOPA pilot today. This app is designed for people new to our airframes, whether it's the SR or the SF. So if they have their pilot's license or not, doesn't matter. Uh, if they're new to Cirrus, this is a great thing for them. Uh, the app is meant to introduce them to the platform, give them some basic facts. Uh, and then the big thing is helping them practice uh, the pre-flight procedures that any pilot would have to do before any flight. Um, we chose this because traditionally, uh, when you're in flight training, this is something that can only be done on location with an aircraft, generally with your instructor walking you through. And one of our big goals uh, with our flight training programs is to be as efficient um, and um, effective as possible. And so we want to figure out ways to allow students to practice these things uh, on their own with as much guidance or as little guidance as they need. And this is what sort of what we landed on. Yeah. Um, and so the idea is that we can put the pre-flight experience, that pre-flight training mm -hmm. uh, in their living room or in their backyard, right. rather than having to go out to the airfield with their instructor, with an available aircraft Definitely. to walk, to work through this process and to figure it out for themselves. Great. Um, and so one of the big things that we're doing, if we go through mm -hmm. into the walk around section, uh, we're using uh, AR tech on the iPad uh, to generate a uh, virtual model of any of our wow. aircraft. And so uh, what we've done is that we've loaded the checklist uh, into the app itself. <laughs> cool, nice. I'll make it so small again in a second. Yeah, the cool thing is that the model is scalable. Um, so you can adjust it to whatever environment you're in, whether that's your living room, mm -hmm. uh, when you're on a flight, on a commercial flight, mm -hmm. or even in your backyard. Right. And so for new students, it can be kind of intimidating to sort of figure out uh, the proper flow and order mm -hmm. that you go through your pre-flight with. Mm -hmm. And so we've created these hot spots and a nice. walking path oh, yeah. to sort of guide you through the process step by step. Very and as you see on the screen, each of those numbered points will give you um, a quick tutorial of what to look for in your pre-flight in oh, that fun. location. Yeah. So here it starts off in the cabin and gotcha. so there's a bunch of checklist items mm -hmm. that involve the cabin and because this is AR if mm -hmm. we wanted to we would actually walk, walk forward, physically walk little. forward and sort of step our way into the cabin wow. to look through uh, to walk through those checklist items. Very cool. And for each of those items mm -hmm. uh, there's a quick little tutorial whether that is a video yeah. or a bit of text Nice. to uh, guide you as to either what you're looking for, mm -hmm. what you need to have in the case of required documents on board with you mm -hmm. at all times. And then as you walk through this, you can just mark it complete. Um, nice. And then it automatically yep, goes, on goes, to the next goes on to the next thing. Very and cool. as you see, as you work through some of the avionics stuff, uh, we actually have uh, emulated oh, what will actually happen in the aircraft as you activate these switches, as you press these buttons. Very cool. Um, so that way, as you're working through this process on the iPad, you will be getting used to what should be happening in the aircraft mm -hmm. when you're there. Yeah, it's not just about looking in the right place, it's about seeing what you're gonna see as exactly. well. So it's a, it's a pretty, it seems to me that it's a pretty high fidelity experience yes. for augmented yeah. reality. So that as you, we were talking about briefly before, that transfer training will be positive and they yes. will actually get to the airplane yes. with real knowledge exactly. that they can use right and away, and which is very cool. With pre-flight procedures in general, mm -hmm. that is like the paramount thing, mm -hmm. because the whole point is you are double checking the aircraft to make yes. sure it's airworthy yes. before you go on your flight. Right. So we wanted to make sure we wanted as high fidelity an experience in the palm of your hand as yes. we could produce. Yeah. So that way, when the things you see mm -hmm. on the screen, are the things you're going to see in the aircraft right. the next day or whenever you take that first flight. Yeah. That sameness is so critical for using virtual environments in an effective way. Yes. So it's, it's really exciting that you guys are, are uh, 
that you all are doing this. So yeah, this is available to everyone. Uh, it's on. It's for the iPad only. Okay. Um, so on that app store specifically, just search for Sears Approach. Sears uh, Approach. Create an account, and this is available uh, right off the bat to any student. Great. Very exciting. So we just completed the augmented reality experience with the iPad, and now we're going into virtual reality, which I have not experienced before. So I'm excited to try it out. Yeah. So we're going to be using the uh, Apple Vision Pro. So to get started, you're going to put that little gray dot on uh, the Cirrus logo where it says Approach Vision. Okay. And, and again, then... do a quick little pinch motion. Whoa, this is crazy. All right, now Whoa. hit uh, Select SF50. Okay. And welcome to your vision. Oh day. my gosh. So Thank this you. Point, I'll take it. <laughs> yes. Uh, this is a one to one scale uh, model of our vision jet. Can I open and the so door? So feel free, you can get up, look around. <laughs> I can't explore, open the door. How cool is that? Um, okay. Make sure I don't hit anything. Yeah, I'll stand okay. right by you. I'll make sure you're not going to bump into anything. Okay. If you look at the jet engine on the back of. Click there for me. Uh, closer to the white part. There we go. Ooh. So this is, uh, if you look oh my around, gosh. The, yes. you're looking at the fuel system. So cool. So one of the hard parts about flight training mm -hmm. is learning all the different systems and components of the aircraft. Oh man. And so we're able to actually use the CAD design files okay. to have these cutaway views of the various systems. Yeah. And so right now this is the fuel system. So you can see, oh my gosh. Uh, you can trace the fuel lines in blue as they leave from the tanks, uh, the yellow tanks in the wings. Wow. Yes, you totally can. That's amazing. Wow. To have a system shown to you like this exactly. in color at scale, yes. very, very cool. Very good for learning. And to just even see like the engine in that way. Yep. It looks like I can do more. Is that true? Uh, so you can, if you reselect it, it'll bring oh, you back okay, to that cool. normal view. Nice. Um, and then are you ready to jump inside? Sure. <laughs> All right, so if you wouldn't mind going back to your seat. Okay. We'll okay. put you in the, the pilot's chair. The seat is real? Chair. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Sweet. So now what I'd like you to do yeah. is look at the steps that lead into the uh, vision jet. Yes. Click the second one for me. Right there. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This so again, is awesome. So feel free to look around. Wow. This when you're is... done here, you can actually pop into the vision jet and see how good of a job we did with the model. Oh my gosh. So this look at that cool. main display that's right in front of you. Okay. And sort of lean forward. And at the bottom of that display, you'll see some switches. Yes. Oh, there you sure. go. And wow. then the next one. Come on. Okay. And then one more. Okay. Perfect. So now all of our avionics are on. Nice. This is and so cool. Now we're going to turn the engine starter on. Awesome. So on your left, Yes. You'll see uh, the stick, the control stick. I do. Right behind that, you'll see a little knob uh, towards the, the front of the plane. The engine start stop. Yep. Go okay. ahead and turn that knob from off to on. Okay. All right. And then once that's selected, hit the engine start button that's right above that knob. Okay. And you should hear the jet engine start to spool up. I think I can hear it. All right, are you ready to go on a quick flight? <laughs> sure. All right, on your right-hand side, <laughs> yeah. the throttle lever yeah. down by the floor, select that for me. Whoa. So you... this is a 3D video. Not the, not the co-pilot being there. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, your co-pilot is actually Rob Hay, our oh, Vice cool. President of Training. Oh He's gonna gosh. take you on a quick flight. You guys are currently taking off from uh, Knoxville, Tennessee, home of our uh, visit Vision Center campus. Wow. Now, as you guys get to altitude, you're going to, the scene will transition <laughs> and Rob's going to take you through some steep turn maneuvers. Nice. Okay. So don't be surprised as the aircraft starts to bank a little bit. And wow. so one of the things that we're yeah. looking at exploring uh -huh. uh, with this tech mm -hmm. is videos like this. Oh my gosh. So again, yeah. you can see as Rob is walking you through the steep turn yeah. and exactly what he's doing right. uh, with the mirrored control scheme in the vision jet, yeah. you can see as he manipulates the stick and the rudders, yeah. you can look and see what he's doing on mm -hmm. your side of the controls as well. T totally. Um, and so that way you can watch this video and get a feel for what a real steep turn looks like um, before you show up for Oh my training. gosh, no, that would, that would be incredible. Is is this something that's pu available to the public right now? No, this, okay. uh, this experience is not public uh, just yet. Okay. Uh, we, this is more of uh, our tech demo that we've yeah, put together. It's, it's amazing. There's so much potential with yeah. it already, just like what you're saying with the, with the, the maneuvers and just mm -hmm. learning where things physically are. Like it feels, it yeah. feels very real. <laughs> 
Yay. Back into reality. <laughs> and then that's I think crazy. The yeah. yeah. Did you have fun? I had so much fun. Yeah, that awesome. was that was amazing. That was a really, really cool experience. It has so much potential just for training because it does feel so real. Like it's kind of like I'm I think it's critical that I was sitting down yes. for some of that because it was like just so so real and really was kind of freaky to have the to have him sitting next to me because it it feels so real and it is to yes. scale and you're sitting down if you were in an airplane that's you would you too would be sitting yes. and seeing that very same thing um very cool thank you so much yeah, for your time welcome. and for showing us this this new technology i can't wait to see how it you know progresses and yeah. can't wait to get one myself <laughs> <laughs> but yeah very exciting very cool stuff the future is now yeah and yeah thank you for having us so thank you for stopping by of course